requiring you today to breathe deep a new breath a new sigh of energy sacred sexual energy is building inside of you after this sexual ascension cycle so far august 2023 from the full moon to the new moon you see you have been raising your sexual energy the feminine cobra first followed by the masculine sexual energy intertwining in each chakra system you see to raise your sexual vibration towards divinity there is a thing you must know as today is the 13th day of the sacred sexual energy ascension ritual for the feminine sexual energy as the feminine serpent the feminine cobra raises through your chakra system you see to meet the crown chakra we are wishing you to know we want you to understand what needs to be purged the collective sexual energy of the feminine is awaiting a release has been building for centuries is awaiting release it is wanting to feel free free of control you see the feminine cobra rises through the chakras as it has been for the last few weeks now reaching the crown chakra, waits patiently. However, the biggest fear and wounding to the feminine sexual energy in the crown chakra is overwhelm, you see. The connection that it opens, that will be demonstrated by the opening of the portal on the new moon, August 2023. The, mo the new moon ceremony carried out as the sacred sexual energy of humanity, meaning the intertwined masculine and feminine energy, 
as it proceeds to be in unity, will be able to open the portal gate during the new moon phase. The connection that can be felt to see the feminine sexual energy awaits in the crown chakra diligently anticipating, however, is afraid of the divine connection expanding out of the body to make way for the kundalini energy to rise through your body as a channel, you see, to connect to our realm and world through the portal opening of the new moon each and every month. The feminine serpent has a wounding this month that we wish to help clear. There are stored traumas in the brain of overwhelm, you see, of times where the feminine sexual energy have been placed in experiences of being overwhelmed with knowledge, with energy, with connection to our realm and world. And there must be a release of control, you see. When a being is overwhelmed, when a sexual energy is overwhelmed, it wishes to be controlled, to control, you see, to control the connection. However, we are wanting you to release like an orgasmic wave up through your body. We wish you to release into pleasure, to rebuild the connection from the crown chakra to our realm and world through the portal gateway, you see, each and every month. The build up, the tension on the raising of the feminine sexual energy gets more overwhelming the higher of the chakras they go, you see why. Because there is a great wounding in the crown chakra of distorted, of overwhelm. It is this that we're wanting you to see. The wounding to your feminine sexual energy, the sexual feminine energy of humanity has a fear of being overwhelmed with the connection to our goddess realm and world, divine energy. The feeling of ecstatic bliss, ecstasy, overwhelms the human body. The electricity can be too much, you see. It can be too much that you've tried to receive previously. And there are wounds, there are memories, trapped, stored within your body and energy, which make you afraid, scared, want to control what it is that you connect to and see. You must completely release and surrender, you see. We are wanting our oracle to help free you from the feeling, the programming, the wounding of your sexual feminine energy of overwhelm, overwhelm of the energy frequency, overwhelming of the crystalline technology codes, overwhelming of your physical world. We are wishing you to receive a frequency to cleanse the crown chakra of the feeling of overwhelm of divinity.
be wishing for you to receive a new frequency to help unite the feminine sexual energy, the feminine cobra of your energy, to precede the kundalini, to feel stability and a feeling of being worthy to reside in the crown chakra. We are wishing you to release control of your connection, meaning not to distort the frequency or your capacity. Many of you and your beliefs limit your capacity of how deeply you can connect to our energy. And we are wishing for you to open your mind, to release all boundaries that keep you separate from our frequency, our kind of energy stream. We are wishing for you to have faith in your own vibration, in your own destiny. Have faith in your own ability that you can receive the codes, the upgrades with ease in your physical bodies. Many of you who are drawn to us and our message, to our oracle, it is not a coincidence, you see. You are drawn to our goddess frequency and the frequencies through our oracle that she gives can help upgrade your system fully so that you do not have to feel incapable, unable, you see. Your DNA is not no longer in control, meaning is no longer being limited by your factors, by your surroundings, you see. The vibrations, the frequencies that we deliver through our oracle can penetrate you deeply, can help upgrade, can help participate in your connection to our divine frequency more effortlessly. There are, however, memories of the overwhelm and the desire to control, you see, to control the connection, to stay in control of your own self. We are wishing the feminine cobra to rise, to sit proudly in the crown chakra, you see, trusting your higher self. You are the gatekeeper of your connection to divinity. It is not a us and you, you see. You are with us in the other world too. It is you. And you have the capacity and ability to straddle both worlds, you see. Raising your frequency. Without over overwhelm without fracturing your energy. For this, you must release control to your higher selves, your goddess self, and trust that you will be led on the right track for you to jump into that energy, to put your faith and trust in that frequency of you. If you identify with your human self receiving our goddess frequency, our connection daily, you will be unable to receive. You will cause yourself trauma to your bodies, you see, with an overwhelming amount of energy. As you raise your sexual energy monthly, the sacred ceremony on the new moon opens a portal, you see, a portal to our world and realm, yes, but a portal to you too. It awakens a portal in you to become your highest goddess self, you see. You become the embodied deity in frequency. In doing this, you relinquish your own human control of your connection to our realm and world and you step fully into your energetic goddess body. The body of light that lives in our world too, you see. You transfer your energy and trust in your highest self, knowing that you are in full security and that part of you converses with us and receive the codes and passes them down to you. We are wishing for you to see yourself as a goddess embodied. We are wishing you to feel your bigness and your capacity. We are wanting you to evolve your identity each and every month as you raise the sexual energy, as you connect then the goddess of the Kundalini to your goddess self, goddess body, you are able to connect and come to our world monthly 
to receive the codes in the sacred ceremony. And in doing that, build a connection when the portals are open for you to receive great things, to start sinking to the energy streams, to start to bring the gifts back down to you into your body gradually over the course of the next phase and the cycle of the sexual energy cycle you see from the new moon to the full moon you will be receiving our golden goddess cobra codes which will help upgrade you and your body to a higher frequency to align with your goddess self your energetic body which aligns to us and our world and realm which will give you the capacity on your ascension journey However, more importantly and more impendingly, your spiritual awakening path, your ability to sync to our goddess energy streams more frequently each and every day to recode, to upgrade, to build your confidence in your abilities, to be able to embody our goddess frequency more consistently. We wish to prepare you with some codes to raise the anima uris, the feminine cobra within the chakras, to raise to the crown chakra, the crown you see. You must crown yourself a goddess, a deity, in order for you to be able to receive what it is that we wish to gift you. To prepare for the new moon sacred ceremony for the portal to be opened and for you to reach through into our world and bring back the gifts into your humanity. Receive the codes and activations of the feminine sexual energy to reside proudly in the crown chakra you see, to not feel that you are overwhelmed, insecure, less than our goddess frequency. You are a goddess too, you see, and it's time you remembered it fully. Receive these codes with ease and grace. Feeling yourself become bigger than what it is that you see yourself as right now. Step into your goddess self. Receive the codes of royalty, sovereignty. Allow us to activate you now. <laughs> We are wishing for you to have a piece of us with you at all times. We want you to feel like a goddess inside. We wish today to gift you something, a pearl. See it received into your crown chakra. 
This gift will help you remember your precursor codes of royalty, an upgrade you see, a feeling of feminine energy, beauty, to remind you of your divinity. This pearl is a pearl of beauty. And in expressing this beauty in your lives, you will always feel connected to our goddess energy and you will feel worthy. As you feel overwhelmed, perhaps in thinking about connecting, wanting to release control, we want you to think of beauty. We want you to feel beautiful. There is a reason why beauty is appreciated in your world, you see. There is a correlation between beauty and releasing control, you see. As you release control of your own psyche, of your human boundaries, you emanate a beauty divinely, divine essence, a true goddess embodied. Take this pearl and allow its frequency to sit within your crown chakra. Keep coming back to it each and every time you feel overwhelmed or wishing to control your connection to us. It really has to be a release. Now we are requiring of you to receive one more thing. We wish for you to allow yourself to be seen more greatly. Yes, your beauty. Yes, your face. Yes, your energy. Yes, your gifts. Yes, your sacred sexuality. We wish you to radiate. We wish you to radiate and start radiating in your physical reality because the more you radiate, you see, the more sexual energy you will channel to your goddess light body. Think of it as a dualistic, uh, universal, uh, double-ended body, your physical body and your goddess light energetic body. The more you radiate, the more sexual energy you emit physically, the stronger your light body gets, your goddess energetic golden self, your ascension body. We wish to activate radiance, royalty, allowing you to deal with the lack of control more gracefully, trusting in your own grace, in your own goddess self, you as a deity, the larger spiritual part of yourself, always acts with grace and ease. The more you can channel this into you, the more you can let go of your human perspective, the more you can step into what we call goddess embodied, which means your energy aligns more with your goddess ascension body and you build the energy of sacred sexuality and allow it to vibrate at a certain frequency, which is an attunement and alignment to our goddess energy, which is the vehicle that you can move through rounds and worlds to collect your gifts, to receive visions, to be the vehicle of your true goddess destiny. Relax and receive these frequencies to allow you to radiate at your highest capacity, releasing all trauma, all distortion, all fear of being out of control and feeling that it's ugly. Relinquishing control and giving it up to your highest self or higher power, you see, even to our goddess frequency, lifts a burden from your body and allows you to become more radiant and free.
Prepare to receive the feminine power that you seek to embody your true goddess destiny. Discover more. The Temple of the Goddess.com.